Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please scroll down, take a second, click the subscribe button. It really helps me out. So today we are checking out an awesome pedal from the folks at Rev Amplification. This is the Rev G3. So the G3 pedal has three controls for EQ. It has bass, middle, and treble, as you would expect. It has a volume control that governs your overall master volume, and then a gain control, which is how much distortion. And it also has a three position toggle that allows you to have no boost in the center position off, blue, which is like a lighter boost, and then red, which is even more boost. So you can kind of tailor both the amount of gain and also kind of how tight and percussive it is by kind of messing with that switch. It comes in at about $230, which I think is very reasonable for this, what this pedal does. That might seem a little bit pricey for a distortion pedal, but in my experience, um, you get what you pay for with distortion pedals, and this one is particularly good. I'm not a huge, huge distortion pedal guy, because I tend to like the sound of amp distortion better, but this has got to be the most amp-sounding distortion pedal I have ever played in my life. So there's a lot of demos of the G3 doing metal, which it does really, really well, um, but I didn't find there were as many demos of people using it for other things, and it does a lot of other stuff really well, too. So I put together a track, and everything on this track, save for the drums, of course, is done with the G3 pedal directly into my interface and then I just used impulse responses. So everything you're hearing is going to be the G3 direct into my Scarlett 6i6 and then I used uh, MixIR's uh, or Redwire's MixIR program to uh, put together some impulse responses. But there's no, no amps happening, anything. It's all the pedal. And so I will post settings uh, with a picture of the pedal up as we go through the track and I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think. So there you go, there's a track based off uh, just all the different sounds that you can get out of the G3 pedal, which I think is just incredible to me, how many different sounds you can get out of the pedal, and in addition to that, they all sound good. It's not like it does something mediocre and then something really well and then more mediocre stuff. It's all really, really good, and the pedal feels very natural to play through. It feels like an amp. Um, so if you put this in front of an amplifier, which I have done as well, um, it's just like adding an extra channel to your amp, so it sounds great. So thanks again to the folks at Rev for sending me one to check out, and until next time, I will catch you later.